<laughs> cool some light. Cool some light. <laughs> cool some light to my own stream. Always late. <clears throat> That's just me. <laughs> yeah, Mike, uh, kitten. My signature. I know kittens love. That's it. Let's give Mike his things. Here you go, Mike. <laughs> I answered your question on the D on the D and D D, D, &D uh, thing, Mike. I answered your question. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I hope the job uh, center went well. So I had to make sure if that said job center or job course. I hope the job center went well, Mike. Hope you know they weren't complete and utter bastards. They always are. We start the bastards that they are. Um, yeah, I'm still not actually hunching ready for the stream. <laughs> I just started it up because in that way, I'm not too late. Um, <laughs> had a new guy today. He was great. That's good then. That is good. Yeah, sorry I'm a bit late. I'm going to start at 10 and I was waiting shop to get electric and then bumped into Bestie and the boys, so I walked them halfway to her mum's because, you know, I got to see the boys for a little bit. Um, then when I actually got to... Oh, I've got to put my blinds back on. When I actually got to the garage to get electric, their ATM wasn't working, and the only other close ATM is one that charges you, like, £1.89 to get your own money out, and I said, fuck that shit. So, I... <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't even do that. Yeah, me. Uh, but I, yeah, I hope the new guy was good. Um, I'm debate. I like the sunlight. It makes me feel happy and nice and fresh. But I can't see half the screen, so I'm like, should I put the blinds up or not? I don't know. I like having this light. It's a nice feeling. But then I again can't see half the screen because <laughs> this game is a very dark game. And light plus dark equals not being able to see. But yeah, this is my one of my two birthday tomorrow streams. Uh, <laughs> uh, the only difference between this and a regular stream is it has the word birthday in the title. That is it. Whoop de doo, Basil. Um, yeah. By the way, on that whole D and D thing, you guys don't have to stress it has to be a time or day you're streaming. It doesn't have to be streamed. It could be any time or any day. I'm just, cause I feel like that's what you guys got in your head. Oh, it has to be on this stream slot. I'm like, no, you guys, we could do it any time and any day. You don't have to stream it. Streaming is an option. Just to try and reduce the stress from you guys. Very own cast over here. Uh, it rained earlier. Oh, quite sunny here. I realise I work near where you live, Mike, because you said you can see the London Eye, can't you, from where you live? And I can see the London Eye from the front of my work. Like very, very prominently, like, it's, it's very easy and clear to see it from the front of my work. So I must work near where you live. Or the opposite side. Like, we could be seeing the opposite sides of the London Eye. <laughs> I could be seeing one side, you the other. Um... Oh, so let me just take my medicine and then I'll get on with the stream. 14 minutes of bollocks so far. Oh, Darth Vader, not the cross. My bad. Oh, one second. My dogs are barking. I don't know if I can chill with that. Is. It's great, isn't it? Great streaming, isn't it? So professional. Oh, I actually can't go out here. That sucks. This was just to get soda, and I fucked it up, because all I got was the mini soda, which I can't make bigger. So it's just tiny soda now. Unless I make... <gasps> That's how I do it. Look, we're going to get a really big mini soda. Whoa. Whoa.
<laughs> it's mini soda, guys. But it's big. What am I actually meant to do? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's why I need the mini soda to press that button. Oh, my bad. I'll just make this small. <laughs> Piece of wood, please. Big soda. Big soda. Oh. Big soda. <laughs> Okay, babes. It's great, isn't it? That I'd be able to be that quick into fucking. Let's actually start the game now. I'm gonna have to turn it up on my end. Just because it's a little quiet. I still feel really ill, by the way. <laughs> For anyone wondering, I still feel really ill. <laughs> and I worked yesterday. It felt like crap. I was the only one working as well. Because uh, management's great. They're shit at managing things. They gave three people this week off. Scheduled today, f uh, scheduled yesterday to be on the shop floor was just me and one other person. And then they had oh fuck. And then they had the clothing manager and till staff. But they called the till staff in for a disciplinary in the morning. So then it was just me on the shop floor because my other shop floor worker had to cover the tills. And then, I don't know what they said in the discipline to piss off that till staff, but they quit. They walked out and quit. So, it was just me the rest of the day. It's great, isn't it? Um, and then before leaving, my boss went to me, oh yeah, make sure you do detailed versions of these things which is when we do like the top of the top best work because we've got someone coming in so it's got to look like it's greatest and I just laughed I just went yeah, yeah I'm gonna do it fuck no I'm not doing that not I didn't by the way I left so much shit I left so much shit so I was like fuck off I'm one person and you're fucking expecting all this crap piss off man Okay, can we focus on the enemies, Alex? It was before this new manager. <laughs> it's also that just the problem with it is the problem with most places where all the managers just stick together and don't believe shit from the shop floor staff. Because I, I, I kid you not, if they removed a certain deputy manager. A lot of the problems would disappear, but they're not going to remove a certain deputy manager. Because they're all fucking in each other's asses, isn't they? All the problems come from this, uh, uh, this one guy, uh, he's probably a dick. He's like, oh, I've been in the company 25 years, I know how everything works. Like, yeah, you've been in it for 25 years, you're fucking way too old school, you prick. Um, it just pisses everyone off. I do support the monarchy, in principle, and I'm sure the Queen is very good at what she does, uh, whatever that is. But is she not a person, just like ourselves? Yeah, it's just like, anytime he's, I tell you for a fact now, anytime he's in right, we don't, we half ass and go really slow. Um, and anytime he's not in, we will do like good work or regular work. Um, but every time he leaves, like, he'll go to the person closest, like, make sure you get on them in it, make sure they do their best work, you know, like they do for me, you know, get on them. And I'm just thinking, we do the worst work for you, mate, and the best work for him. And then you always come in and say, it looks shit when he does it, but it looks great when you do it. Hi, well, so uh, Lizzie, thank you for the early yeah, birthday message. Something to keep your brain what comes next in the oh, I hate this one. One. Three, four, seven, eleven. I don't know. Kitten normally answers. I don't like maths. It's plus two, then plus one, isn't it? I don't know. My phone's going off. I don't know. Numbers. 18. Thank you. Why is my phone going off? You'd be left alone. Thank you, Lizzie, for the early birthday message. My birthday tomorrow. I'm streaming today. 
because I'm busy tomorrow. <laughs> kitten is very smart. It's all kitten has just played this game a billion times. So as I was doing a message, that's why I'm quite genius kitten, exactly genius. That's why her shout out, kitten's shout out is this. That's why this is kitten's one. Look, personal little Cheshire cat. Uh, fuck Lizzie, I can't, I think your one is, the, uh, is it this? You have one, I know you have one Lizzie. There it is. Ha! I am smart. I remember the things I program. <laughs> I'm smart enough to remember the things that I programmed in the stream elements. Thank you. I like that the card guards are like zombies in this one. It's so cool. And he's dead. And he's dead. <laughs> They're so easy to kill. It looks like it's just one hit from the hammer. Oh no. Mm. Two hits from the hammer. Oh, what are the dog's barking about now? Uh. Fuck's sake. I'll be right again. I'm gonna get pissed off today, aren't I? Yeah. Well, I'm not 100% sure on what I'm meant to do here. I'm back. Sorry about that. By the way, if you're wondering why I can't I just ignore them, it's because I know for a fact that due to it being my fucking birthday tomorrow, that people are going to be knocking and being like, I wanted to see you around your birthday. It pisses me off because I want to be left alone around my birthday. I don't like it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I really do. Ah, fuck. The thing is, what I also hate is they will come here. How did you come to life? They will come here and they will knock and they will expect me to be here. And then when I'm not, they get annoyed at me. They get annoyed at me. They're like, oh, I knocked. I knocked on or around your birthday, but you weren't in. Like, I wanted to see you. I'm like, motherfucker. M m motherfucker. One, I have a life. Two, it's my birthday. I can do what the fuck I want. I don't have to stay in and sit in here waiting for people to fucking come wish me a happy birthday. Pisses me off, man. That's why I also hate surprise things. I hate surprise things. And the reason I hate surprise things is because I don't care about all the time and effort you put into it. What if I had plans? What if I was busy? What if there was something I wanted to do that day? I mean, now you've put all this time, effort, and most likely money into this surprise, so I now have to do the thing you want me to do. Instead of the thing I want to do. So that's why surprises are the worst. People go to your house for your birthday. I hate it. I hate it, Lizzie. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Just move the fuck off. I'm not a social person either. I'm a very anti social introvert. And everyone thinks that I wanna. Oh, yeah. It's like everyone asks me what I want for my birthday. Like, oh, what do you want for your birthday? I've got to keep something special. I've got you a nice gift. Guess what? I ask for one thing and one thing only. And that is money. And you know why I ask for money? Not because I'm some heartless prick. I am some heartless prick. But not because of that. I'm just a heartless prick for other reasons. You know. Like it's separate. Like, you know. I happen to be a heartless prick who also just wants money. How do I get back? Oh, that's it. The reason I ask for money... It's because instead of you going out and stressing and spending your time to go, oh, will he like this? Will he like that? You know, will he appreciate this? Will he use this? 
and then wrapping it and then giving it to me and then my reaction being blank the red kingdom's in ruins but you're no better off when you defeated her i tried to reclaim the castle but i was set upon by her monstrosities the malignant royal fist still reigns i'm here to petition her i must get inside the only way in is through me sacrifices must be made those who say so usually mean they should be made by others cynicism is a disease can be cured once inside beware of the outsized killer who patrols her domain never confront him he is invincible now cut me loose i'll show you the meaning of sacrifice so what i was saying right, was when someone gives me a gift i have the most blank bitch face face ever because i don't know how to react to things i don't so then it always looks like i don't appreciate the gift you know what is easier just just money because then i can go out and spend it on the things i want and there's no stress there's no stress instead of spending six pound on that thing just give me the six pound you know <laughs> or just don't get me in it that's all so easy <laughs> I, I must sound like an ungrateful little prick but I don't care. I'm an honest person. Every picture tells a story. Couldn't tolerate a book without pictures when you were a girl. Only death this way, Alice. Death and despair. Pretty sure there's a piggy around here somewhere. I understand that. I can understand that. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Well, tomorrow, I'm going to go around besties and hang out with others. Have I told anyone I know in real life that? No. No, I have not. No, no, no. So if they all show up tomorrow expecting me to be in and I'm not here, that's on them. I don't care. It's their fault. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> but I do appreciate like the people saying happy birthday and all that. I appreciate that. Like thank you a lot. There's the piggy piggy piggy. Yeah, piggy piggy piggy. <gasps> Secret. I wonder if we can defeat that boss on tunic yet today. Probably not. <laughs> I'm gonna spend another two hours fighting that fucking boss. <laughs> Oh no, I'm going to spend another two hours fighting and losing to the same boss. New beer skin blood before the heart, no deer antlers on the wall, no taxidermic abominations in the house. He means the creature's dignity. How is everyone else though? Oh look, I died because there was no way of like, what? I don't know how I'm meant to get out of here dying. Um, how is everyone else doing? I hope I'm doing well. Um, oh, I died. Yeah, I died. Yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. Mike, Kitten, Lizzie. Any lurkers? Anyone over on YouTube in a couple of weeks? Because this won't be for like two weeks or something. On YouTube, this one. Because I've got this Wednesday's one sorted out. On YouTube, and I've got next Wednesday's one also sorted out on YouTube. So this won't be for like a while on YouTube. <laughs> Although my game man doing good, thank you, biscuit, and yourself. I'm unwell. Work is pissing me off and stressed, and my body hurts. Um, it's my birthday tomorrow, which you can tell has put me in a bad mood uh, <laughs> but when I was walking to the shop earlier on to try and get electric which I didn't get because the ATM wasn't working and the only ATMs that were working charge and I'm, I'm not gonna pay money to get access to my money um, I did bump into Bestie and the boys so I got to see you know I got to walk them a little bit and see them for a bit and when I was saying goodbye, I got upset because little man 
started to whinge and cry that I was saying goodbye. He, he, I, I did say goodbye to his little brother and he just smiled. <laughs> he just like smiled like a grin. I was like, ah, at least he's happy on me. Um, and downstairs on phone getting distracted by the cutter. Oh, cutter. Yeah, little man was not happy that I was saying bye bye. But I'll see him tomorrow. That's fun. Was there secrets up there? Did I fuck up? I think I fucked up. Oh no, I can get back up. It's so dark. Alice, can you fly higher than that, please? Thank you, love. Oh yeah, My Game Monday has been put on hi hiatus over on YouTube. Um, just because I can't find a game I want to do. That, that's a lie. I found multiple games I want to do, but I can't. Because one of them, the only way I can play it at the moment is emulating it. Because my copy is a fuck. Um, and OBS is really struggling with recording the emulated audio for some reason. The other two are co-op games. So I can't really... I can't really do those. I am but one man. I cannot split myself in twain. To hold two controllers. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't have any Mango Monday games at the moment, so that's just been put on a hiatus. Rawr. Executor man. I'm just meant to run away from you, aren't I? I don't remember where I meant to run to though. I'm an idiot. Don Q had a better chance with his windmills and without risk of decapitation. A prudent exit is no less so for being hasty. Yeah, that would be great if I knew oh there's the exit, cool. He's just gotta break through that. Why are you just standing there, Alice? Hitsy. This 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 area is just very resident evil. It's very Resident Evil in my mind. This area. Why can't she run fast enough to escape him as well? I always get hit there. I've got to head out, homework. I have a great, I have a great stream and even better birthday tomorrow. Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you so much. Thank you for popping in. I hope your homework goes well. Um, and I will have a good birthday tomorrow because I get to see my favorite people. So, you know, it's all good. And I get money, money, money. You know, money, money, money. Must be funny. Ch -ch -ch -ch. And I get down, down. A weapon's intended function is almost beside the point. Ultimately, it's only as good as the person who wields it. <sighs> yeah, um. Oh, excuse me. I don't know if you heard that, but excuse me. Take care, everyone. Chat doesn't scroll. <laughs> um. What was I going to say? Yeah, D and D peeps, don't don't stress about having to have us play it at a streaming time because it doesn't have to be streamed. It's just you guys can if you want. Um, hello, Cheshire. The Queen's Garden rarely leaves his filthy lair, but you're special. I like that Cheshire is based on an Egyptian cat in this one. I don't know why. I don't know, I just like that he's, he's based on like a Persian slash Egyptian cat. It fits him really well. It really does. Um, I think Anton is set on the evening because work. Oh yeah, no, I get that. I get that. I, I fully get because of work. Like. I also just hope I'm no longer ill when we're doing that because my voice sounds like shit. And you know, I'm the DM. Do the good voice thing. I'm also really like nervous. Really. 
honest. So it was really nerve-wracking, being like, yeah, cool, we're going to do this thing, and then it's all on me. Like, if I... <laughs> if it's not fun or good, it's because of me. Yeah, exactly. It's not fun or good, it's all my fault. I think my main stress point is the voices, because I can't really do voices that much. So, that's stressing me out. It's like, oh, doing voices, doing like silly, fun voices. You guys. But not just because they're silly and fun, but also so you know, like, who the fuck's talking in conversation? <laughs> you know, you guys don't have to go and be, keep going to be like, oh, who's, who said that? Who's saying that? You know, so you know who the fuck's talking. But voices are hard. Oh, I have to do some voices, kitten. Especially because I've been practicing some of them, so, you know. Like, I've got, <laughs> I've been practicing the O'Brien's voices, that whole family. <laughs> and I got I got some of the voices. It's women's voices that I can't do as well. Like I can do old man, I can do older man, I can do old farmer, I can do young farmer, I can do offensively Irish. <laughs> um I can do some like slight other ones, but then I can't do any female voice. Like, my female voices, whenever I try to do them, it just ends up being more, like, clear-spoken. And it just makes it sound like all the men in my world are stupid, dumb, arc What the f- Oh, yeah, I meant to use the bomb. I mean, yeah, it just makes it sound like all the men in my world are dumb asses and all the women are, like, genius. Because <laughs> it goes for, like, a normal voice and it's, like, upper-class, posher voice. <laughs> any female that I try to do and it's like <laughs> this is setting a bad precedent women aren't like obviously women are smart and awesome geniuses but they aren't all meant to be smarter than everyone <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah I go softer I don't try I don't try to go high pitch I try to go softer was the whole point of going over here just for this Oh no, there's a peaky peaky peaky. Peaky peaky peaky. Oh, and obviously I can do goblin voices. I can do goblin voices for days. <laughs> so many goblin voices. Yes. All the goblin voices. <laughs> Will you guys meet a goblin? Probably not. You probably won't. Because it depends how many sessions we have and how long they are, but you probably won't meet a goblin. <laughs> I'm also going to try and look into some like voice changing software as well. Uh. Kitten's seen me trying to do voices in My Game Monday with Grab by the Ghoulies and the other problem, oh I died. The other problem I have, Kitten, as you know, is I forget the voices that I give people. Hence the fucking cook. <laughs> I can, they, they never had a voice. And then Mr. What was it? Mr. Bones in one episode had two voices because I couldn't remember his voice. And then the second time I did his voice, I remembered what his voice was meant to be. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, I did that wrong the first time. <laughs> so he had two voices. I have. You lose track. I do lose track. It's not easy. You know, the, the harder. I've been practicing the O'Brien's voices, and the reason I've been practicing the O'Brien's voices, right, is because they all are the same but different, if that makes sense. Like, all their voices are very extremely similar, but have very slight differences because they are a family. So they were like, you know, they all sound slightly similar because they're a family, they're all the same race. Oh, I died. They're all from the same place. So it's, it's... Oh, wow, we're all the way back here. That's great. Thanks, game. 
So they're all very similar but different voices. It's a struggle. Which O'Brien? Which <laughs> there's many O'Briens. <laughs> there's Sean O'Brien, Miles O'Brien. Yeah, there's Miles O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the whole reason they're called the O'Briens. <laughs> Which I think Mike knows. The whole reason I have a family in my D D world called the O'Briens is so they can have a son called Miles O'Brien. <laughs> Maybe little Miles O'Brien. Uh one sec. Uh, not the high city. Ringwood. Yeah, that's it. You got Cassidy O'Brien and his wife Mary O'Brien and their son Miles O'Brien. And then you have Cassidy's cousin, which is Sean O'Brien. <laughs> no, there isn't Liam O'Brien yet. It's kissing. There's only one O'Brien that matters. <laughs> yeah. And that's Miles. <laughs> And he is a child. He's very good at fixing things. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> this child O'Brien is good at fixing things. <laughs> I make myself laugh too much. Yeah, 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 we gotta play shitty chess. I made myself laugh way too much. I did that wrong, didn't I? Yeah. You gotta get to the opposite golden star, my guy. Yeah, it's very odd that, isn't it? It's very odd that we little Miles O'Brien is good at fixing things. Oh, I can't remember how to do this one. This is bullshit. Yeah, I want to try again. Um, I'll do I just do that. That's easy. Um, I'm trying to make it way more complicated than it was. I've got a. Uh, I've still got to make up the voices for the first people you lot will meet. Which is bollocks. I do just need to get a voice changer. On my PC. Oh, there's a piggy. Oh, there he is. Also, just to 100% just to make sure, you all have your character sheets up to level 3, but you're starting at level 1. Just just remember that, okay? A locked room is little more than a cage. A prison by another name. I despise concealment of any kind. Just because... I'll spoil it. You'll reach level 3 very quickly. <laughs> Because it's milestones, baby. Milestones, baby. Yeah, I'll try and voice mod, Mike. I just haven't looked into any of them. Yeah, because... Busy with work. Uh, yes, I have to find what I've done before we everything. I need to check and take a look. Fair enough. Fair enough. Because it it just makes it easier because it, we won't have to pause for like twenty to forty minutes for you guys to pick what you want for the level ups. Because um, you will reach level three rather quickly. I'll tell you that now. Because the milestones are set things that I have a list for. So once you achieve these things, that's when you'll level up. 
Um, I don't have all 20 yet because obviously I left stuff for like. You guys might just do something that's really fucking awesome and cool that I never thought you'd do. And then if you do that, I'll just make that a milestone. So I don't have all 20 milestones for it. But. I think I have about. I think I have about 8 milestones. 8 or 9 milestones written up. So. Depending on what you guys do, you could be like smashing. You could just be like boom, boom, boom. Let me see where. where I think the bass voice mod is free. I'll, I'll give it a look, Mike. Um, I'll do it after the stream. No, one of them is not get on the boat, Fear. One of them is not to get on the ship. Because all the milestones are optional thing. And getting on the ship is not optional. Yo! Splitter? I'm not, I'm not reading the whole name. <laughs> I read the whole name and was like... I'm not really. I'll call you Splitter. Yeah, Splitter. I'm not reading the whole name. I was gonna read it out. The cool name you got there was like fucking trick people. Especially because, like, I don't think Americans would get that name. So you could trick a lot of American streamers. Picky, 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 picky. Splinter, not Splitter. Ain't that sick. <laughs> Alright, okay, my bad. What did that piggy do? I looked away. I looked away. What did I, yeah, I don't know what that piggy did. I was not looking at the game at the moment. The piggy did a thing, so I don't know what that piggy did. Um, no, what's that up there? What's that up there? But yeah, hey. Uh, hope you're doing good. This is one of my two birthday streams. It's not my birthday today, it's tomorrow. But j just to let you know. Um, I'm just busy and lazy. What's up here? What's up here? Ooh, secrets. Ooh, memories. No oh, camera. Lovely service. Beautiful music. Closed caskets. Though I'm told your sister could have shown for advantage. I wonder if I'll have an open or closed casket. I guess it's not really up to me, is it? Because I'll be dead. Oh, wait, is it up to you? Like, I guess when you write your will, you can be like, hey, bitches, don't show my face. Or something like that. <laughs> That's fully how I'm going to write my will. It's going to be so informal. It's going to be like, sup, wankers. <laughs> These are the people who get my moolah. <laughs> I wonder if that would still be legally binding if I started it with sup wankers. I'm eating beer battered fish and gusto Oh, you're making me hungry, man. That sounds so good. What time is it where you. Because <laughs> that sounds like a very British meal. And then it's like 11 19. So it's like a bit. <laughs> I was like, you seem British, but it's a bit early for that. Fuck you, dude. Oh, I just meant the, the beer battered fish and gastro chip. Yeah, I'm I'm sure the Americans have it because they just cook everything, don't they? Um, but it's why are you having it this early? Oh, do you work like uh, nights or something? And this is like your dinner time. Ah, my foot. Can you flying ones? There you go. I just do what I like. Fair enough. Uh, fair, yeah, true, actually. Fuck it. Who says when you can and can't have food? 
Eat this butt. He says you have to have Easter eggs on Easter. I eat that shit whenever I can. When is Easter this shit, by the way? When is Easter this shit? Is it soon? I don't know. Or pancakes on a Tuesday. <laughs> I eat pancakes whenever I want. Image if you could only legally eat pancakes on pancake day. That would be a bull egg. So I have to reply to Jasper. You will learn, Splinter, that I'm a highly professional streamer who is never late, uh, never randomly stops the stream to answer a message, rarely BRBs, and I'm talking a bunch of bollocks. Um, <laughs> I'm always late. I always BRB a lot. And I will stop the stream to answer a message from certain people. Uh, my best friend, because it could be to do with my godson and, you know, priorities. And Jasper, because they're my artist, so it could be business shit. What's over here? They're my artist, so it could be business shit that they're messaging me about. So I was like, I can't ignore... What are these leading to? What's this? What's this? Ooh, secret. Although, me and Jasper did agree that all business messages would be done on Discord and not Snap. And it's Snaps I keep answering, so... I also like the fact that it's my day off of work and I'm sitting in a work shirt. Because they're just comfy as fuck. The work shirts are so comfy. I was also going for my jackets the other day before I went to my work meeting on Sunday. And I found my old, um, you know those work jackets they give you? Like, I can't remember what the style is called. Like, uh, you, you, Everyone who's worked retail will know the fuck I'm going on about. Um, but I found my old one of them from Iceland, so I was like, ah, oh, should I rock up to the meeting in an Iceland jacket? <laughs> Instead of rocking up in a witch jacket, just rock up in an Iceland jacket. Like, stop, peeps. I didn't in the end. I went in my uh, dragon hoodie. That's a, a work. Yeah, so like the Morrison's ones, but Iceland's or Wits on it. So you, yeah, you'll know what I mean. But yeah. I oh, did you? I used to go to Morrison's all the time and then the, they raised their prices on their cheap shit, so now I don't. No offense. No, no offense to you, because you work there. But they raised their prices on their cheap shit, and I'm like. Uh, their cheap stuff now costs the same as, like, other places' branded stuff, so I'm like. What's the point? I will say, Iceland's cheap frozen sausages are fucking amazing. Like, the amount of flavour in those cheap frozen ice and sausages, I don't understand it, but they are. Ooh, yeah. I will always hype those up. Legit. If you are going, uh, not Iceland's, I meant Morrison's. Morrison's! I'm sitting here saying Iceland's. Morrison's. If you go Morrison's, the white bag Morrison's brand cheap sausages, so good. Probably contain less meat and more seasoning. Yeah, most likely. But they're great. Yeah, them. They're great. I don't care if there's less meat in them. They taste a lot better than like a lot of expensive sausages I've had. So, fuck it. Who cares? It's not been over two hours, Stream Elements. You're broken. You remember what I like? <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that's another thing about this channel. The bot's broken, and I'm not fixing it. Because I like that it's broken. I just like the idea of this like bot sitting there with like wires hanging out of his head, just like getting everything wrong. Oh, dogs really piss me off. To the royal guard with this spell. We are all victims in waiting.
cheese, a pencil, no. It is a face mask. A, uh, Rick and Morty Pickle Rick face mask. Oh, I should put one. Uh, why is it in there? Because it was in my hand when I was putting a bottle of water in the fridge and I just put them both in. Sorry about that. Apparently there's estate agents walking around where I live because apparently it's a good house selling market at the moment. And instead of just telling them to fucking piss off, people was being nice and standing at the window talking to them. It's like, no, just tell them to piss off. My new uniform though, we got a grey polo with a Pull over and a body warmer with no arms. And if you work frozen, you get a beanie and a hat and a full coat. Yeah, so the full coat with the eternal fleece is the, is the ones I'm talking about. Like, I've got a Wix one of those and an Ice. Oh, I died. An Ice one of those as well. And I should have a Savers one of those somewhere. Because um, I don't ever give stuff back when I leave the <laughs> Um, I don't like the polo shirts works gives you. I like the t-shirts. I will never wear the polos. I just always get a t-shirt in a size... Oh, fuck's sake, I died again. <laughs> I will always get a t-shirt in a size slightly bigger than me. I work nights in summer, so I wear vests. Fair enough. I don't think I've ever worn vests. I'm a... I don't like being hot either. I hate being hot. Um, I'm a, of a larger... I'm fat. Just to say I'm fat. Uh, fuck off, you creepy bastard. Uh, so at work, I normally just wear like the t-shirt with the jumper thing they give us. Like the pullover jumper thing. Um, but then I just roll my sleeves up. Because... My work, the building is just a giant converted warehouse. Like it's fucking freezing. Like it's fucking freezing in there. When did you guys come back to life? I don't remember you doing that last time I played this. Maybe it's because I'm on the harder difficulty? I don't know. Oh, there's the popo going past my head. Oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah, I'd like to continue. I'd also like not to be fucking one hit when I still have like five health things left. Yeah, pricks. Do this all again now. This is on PC, but I'm playing this on Xbox One. Um, but it's a 360 game. So, like, I can get the 360 menu up. But I'm streaming via my PC. That's why you don't have the. I don't know what that word means. <laughs> I changed it into this whole word, I don't know. <laughs> you can really fuck off, big boy. No, don't aim on him, Alice. We can't hurt him. Aim on the ones we can murderize. Oh, I don't think I'd turn that on anyway. Um, I don't. I just play games how they look. I don't mess with settings. I don't mess with graphical settings. I don't really. I don't really care about how they look. I just to play them how they are. I think most console gamers are like that. We just don't give a shit. 
Like, I've had my PC for almost a year now, and I rarely game on it. I mainly just use it to stream. I have tons of games on there, though. I just don't use it. Now I've got my new setup, but I'll probably use it. For my old setup. No! Go away, big evil man. My old setup was atrocious for my back. The new one's quite fun. I need the ones I'm ready to do <laughs> I feel bad for my PC sometimes because it is a beast and I never push it to beast levels. It just it's just always sitting there on like the basic levels of pro like it's like oh, I'm a beast and like yeah cool. Basic shit. <laughs> basic shit. You <laughs> Oh I can just feel it just wanting to do more and I never push it. Like, my PC always runs cold. It's fucking... It's just always running cold. If I have the PC on, it cools down the room rather than warms it up. I'm sure so Kevin and Sunny sound to like PS4 is more powerful than X phone, blah blah blah. The next Xbox just SX came out and Sunny fans reversed what they said by saying PS4 game's not power, makes me laugh. Yeah. Sony's a piece of shit company anyway. Massively piece of shit company. I don't care what anyone says. I grew up on PlayStation as well. Because I always I always say how like much how shit Sony is a company to their fans, and everyone goes, "Oh, it's because you're an Xbox fan." I'm like, "No, I grew up on PlayStation. Mate. <laughs> I just know Sony's a piece of shit." <laughs> Xbox keeps trying to be a piece of shit, and we just don't let them. Xbox doesn't have a backbone when so that's the thing. Sony has a backbone. So when they make a shitty decision, they will just stick to it. Xbox doesn't have a backbone. So when they make a shitty decision, fans will just make Xbox reverse their choice. It's like we don't like this. So we're not gonna let you do it. Sony has a backbone, so we're like, we don't like this, but we're not gonna change your mind. Like when Sony got bought her because someone made yeah. yeah. At least we can all agree they're all better than Nintendo. Hey. We can all agree that. I don't care if you love PlayStation or Xbox or PC. We can all agree Nintendo are the true bastards. We can all agree that. I just find it funny that Nintendo keeps pulling emulators down and fan made things down. Um, and then when you look at their, like, we remastered this game. And then when someone quickly looks in the files and, like, all you did was emulate your own game. You emulated it and then charged us 60 quid for it rather than letting these people emulate it and us having it for free. Nintendo are fucking assholes. The sad truth about Nintendo, though, no matter how arseholy they are, no matter how arsey... Oh, they, this was just a death hole? I thought that might have been a secret. No matter how arseholy Nintendo is, I'm all, I will always buy one of their consoles eventually because I want to play the latest Mario games. That's the problem. I want to play the latest Mario games, but the company's a piece of shit. I'm gonna die because I didn't see where the like platform was. Why did I pay Nintendo for Breath of the Wild? I didn't even like Breath of the Wild. I regret buying that game. Some of the least fun I've had in a game in years. Personal opinion before anyone gets annoyed about that. <laughs> That's personal opinion. 
And it's very rare I regret a game. Like, there are games that are pieces of shit. Like, they're, they're terrible, horrible games, and I don't regret playing them. Yeah, there are games that, like, are the worst games ever. Like, they're almost unplayable, and I don't regret buying them. I regret buying Breath of the Wild. So, yeah. Why would Jump ever be why? It's ridiculous. It's basic gaming, but Jump is A. Jump is A... And then if your game doesn't jump, ju if your game doesn't have jumping, then jump is, uh, then A means run or sprint. Like, tapping A makes you sprint. That's what A does. Why is normally like heavy attack or reload or some shit like that? The fuck? Why is there two pathways? It's just me here. What was the other part of the The hobby horse. Yeah. What the? F Why is there so many pathways? I don't remember this one. How do I get past this? Uh, oh, I can use bombs in little mode, can't I? Yeah. Oop. Okay, that doesn't blow that up there. Okay. I don't know then. I would BRB like my proper BRB which I normally do at an hour so I can like eat and have a drink but due to fucking dogs constantly barking I've BRB like nine times already in this stream so I don't feel like I can take more break which is bollocks this people is why you don't have pets Need some more of my caffeine drink. Alright, I'm back. I'm back. Caffeine drink. So if I do that. Nope, I died. Fuck it. I'm gonna stop trying to get all the extras and secrets and all that shit because I just keep dying and I'm not in the mood to constantly be dying in this game. So, <laughs> fuck it. I know there's a secret over there. I've already played through this game twice now. I can't be fucked to go get the secret. Is that time by everyone? Cool. I didn't put the fucking bomb on the thing, so I'm gonna have to jump back anyway. It's just a bottle, who gives a fuck? Pardon me. And there, uh, cool, we're done.
I was uh, looking the other day on um, fucking Steam. Yeah, uh, they have the whole legacy of games here. Uh, let me fuck. Oh, oh, bit. I fucked up sentence there. Legacy of getting up my ball. Take a second, biscuit. Breathe. Focus. Relearn English. I. Fucking car, I don't know what I was gonna say. I know what I was gonna say, but I can feel like I'm gonna say it wrong again. They have the whole of the Legacy of Cain series on there, is what I was trying to say there. Um and it made me realise that there was more Legacy of Cain games than I thought there was. I only thought there was the first one where you play as Cain. Uh, then there was Soul Reaver, Soul Reaver 2, and then there was Blood Omen 2. I didn't realise there was Legacy of Cain, the D one, the one that gives you D, I can't remember what it's called, where you play as both Cain and Razael. Which is cool. That being said, I've only ever played one Legacy of Cain game, which is, Leg uh, which is Soul Reaver 2. Because I was thinking about doing that for my game Monday, and then I was like... I don't know. Because if I was going to do a PS2 supernatural monstery hard as fuck game for My Game Monday, I should probably finish off my playthrough of Prime uh, Primeval. Because I never finished that game. I just gave up because it got hard. That's what I'm like. I don't like hard games, they're too hard. That's not being true, I do like a challenge, but I just. I don't have the patience for it. Like, you should watch me... Oh, no, you shouldn't watch me. I'll, I'll never stream it. But you should see me play fucking... The classic Crash Bandicoot games I played while growing up. Like, going back to those and trying to play for those. The amount of swearing and controller breaking I fucking started to do. That's fucking Crash Bandicoot. Piece of fucking stupid Bandicoot. What even is a Bandicoot anyway? Not a real animal. Is it? I don't know. Is a bandicoot a real? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Like an Australian animal. Aussie land. Land of all the weird animals. I say that and most of my viewers, well, used to be. Most of my viewers used to be from Australia. <laughs> like slagging off the Aussies. A reflection sometimes exposes more reality than the object. Oh, fuck off Cheshire. Uh, I hate these things. I'm dead, yep. Oh, I hate these ones. Why couldn't they just make us play regular chess? No, for fuck's sake! Oh. Yeah, I'm dead again. I hate, I hate, I hate this one. I remember hating this one the first time I fucking did it as well. Because this one is bullshit. There you go. Well, I did it again. I don't like I don't like the fake chess game. Just, I would again much rather they just made me play actual chess. I'm not good at chess, but I would rather 
play the actual chess than play that shitty little mini game. Thank you for the offer of the hymn, okay. Thank you. Birthday stream. Do -do 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 -do. Choo choo. I like train. For God's sake, love train. Give me birthday. Like this ride on train thing. Like this. There's a ride on train with like tracks, and it has like a motor, so you can decide how fast it goes around the tracks and that. It's so cool. That's what I'm getting for his birthday. Cause I am the best. I am simply the best. Oh, that was something I actually did want to ask you, Mike and Anton. I say you. Like, I don't know why I said you. Like, I just expect Kitten to be here. That's <laughs> so rude of me. <laughs> that is something I wanted to ask Kitten, Mike and Anton. <laughs> me? Yes, you. Me. <laughs> Sorry, I remember in a horrible history clip. <laughs> you think you're bigger than me? Um, <laughs> what was I saying? I don't remember. I don't remember what I was gonna say. Fuck it. You can. I don't remember what I was gonna say. No, oh, I'm dead. You bastards. Um, what's it? I don't know. Oh, that was it. That was it. That was it. Mike, kitten, and tan, and tan, kitten, Mike. Um. Uh, blah, blah, blah. With, do you, mm. I don't know. Should I play music while we play D and D or not? Like, should should I get tracks to play in the background or not? Or like, I don't know. Would that be distracting? It'd be a lot more work for me. I'd say that it would be a lot more work for me because I'd have to get a track for like every fucking place you can go to. And every fight you go to. <laughs> um, but I'm willing to put that effort in. If you guys think it would be better. It's up to you. Because if you think it would just be distracting, we don't have to. I just have to survive, right? Can I just run away for the whole time? Because <laughs> we fucking want it. Oh. Here, fight the bomb. I'm running away. Plausible two people will be streaming, so probably not. No music. Okay. <laughs> I would obviously have got royalty free music. I would have got stream friendly music here. Or like, I would have done like a a atmospheric sounds. So like, when you're on the boat, you'd hear like the fucking waves crashing in the sea and stuff like that. But if you guys vote for no, then that's fine. It's less work for me. I don't care. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a round house. There's one vote for no music, one vote for probably not, and Anton hasn't voted. So we got a no, a maybe, and Anton isn't here, so he can't vote yet. So, so far, it's very... Thank you, Mike, for not sitting on the fence. Is what I'll say there. <laughs> Thank you, Mike, for not sitting on the fence. <laughs> Just to be a little rude. Just like... No offense, it, uh, straight answer, boom, no, sorted, done, dusted. I feel like that's what it's going to be like. Like, playing. Like, you'll get to a decision where, like, oh, should we should we kill this person or not? And Mike will just be like, yes or no. Kitten will be like, maybe, I don't know. And Antan will just sit there silently. <laughs> I feel like that's what it's going to be. 
<laughs> Mike's gonna make the decisions because you two are gonna be, you two are gonna be able to make a choice. Should we kill this innocent old lady? I don't know. Yes. Silence. Oh, you're killing the little old lady there. Nah, <laughs> you could try and kill all the things, Mike. I'll just remind you guys, actions have consequences in this world, and you are not the most powerful beings in existence. So, if you want to go on murder spree, you could try. The game will probably end very quickly. Because actions have consequences. <laughs> I don't know until I get there. <laughs> Ken's like, Ken's still sitting on the maybe set. <laughs> I love it. You guys stop shooting me, please, so I can kill you. I'd really appreciate it. Fire. Or not. I mean, oh, look, I died because I was looking at the fucking chat. I mean, maybe see if the old lady is a threat for mercy. <laughs> I feel like Mike's going to end up ending the campaign very quickly because he's going to want to kill everything. <laughs> One hour in. What do you mean the campaign's over? You're all dead. It's not my fault. <laughs> Yeah, it's not Grim Dawn, Mike. This isn't a gritty world you're going Like, it's a very nice world you're going to. It isn't all dark and gritty. Like, sunshine, lollipops, and... Can you guys fuck off murdering me? Rainbows. <laughs> that was very bad timing for me to get pissed off at these guys. <laughs> it's all sunshine, lollipops, and fuck off murdering me. <laughs> ah, Guild Wars 2 is a lot brighter than Grim Dawn. I'd give you more Guild Wars too, because it's like a lot brighter game, isn't it? There's like green pastures and farms and, you know, the sun. Grim Dawn's very much darkness, darkness, darkness and more darkness. Guild Wars 2 is like, there's darkness and there's happiness. It would have been great, right, if what they'd done with the piggies is at the end of the game, in like the credits or something, you saw what's her face? I can't remember her name. The one you're killing, the one you're peppering all the piggies for. If you saw her like sitting there with all these pig snouts, and depending on how many pig snouts that you did, there'd be more piggy piggies around her. It'd, it'd be adorable. I would love that. The more piggies you did, the more there is around here. Oh, that's the way to go, my bad. What was that the Yeah, the Duchas. The Duchas. The Duchas, yo. Yo, 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 yo. I like on my laptop it says there is a Discord alert. I open Discord up on my phone. There is no Discord alert. What is this Discord alert? Oh, notes yourself. Need to check character sheet for next three levels. Yeah. Well, not next three levels because it's level one, two, and three. So it's the next two levels, technically. Because, you know, level one. Basic. No, 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 I fucked up. <laughs> okay, no, I fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up. Pardon me. I also like that Mike asked who will be hosting the D and D game. I was like, me, obviously. I'm the DM. Of course, I'm the one going to be hosting it. I'm the, I'm the dungeon master.
I'm the, I'm the, I'm the guy. I'm the dude. You know. Just needed a check. <laughs> Yeah, I do need to add in a D&D uh, &D voice channel. The biscuit. Yep. I'm the biscuit. <gasps> what's that? What's that over there? What's that? What's that thing? What's that? Ooh, what's that? What's that? What is it? 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 How do I get that? Oh, there's a movie platform. I see you. Oh, so close. So cl I see you. Oh, Madonna. Oh, I jumped and died. Yep. See, I play platformers with it. That's the thing. That's the problem. Okay. Fully honest, because Minj, you're new. Why did, I, why did I call you that half of your name? For fuck's sake. Minj, you're new. Um, but you could also have an opinion. But Mike and Kitten, do you... Like, what games do you prefer me playing? And don't be like, oh, anything you like. Like, Because I've, I've played platformers, I've played shooters, I've played whatever the fuck Tunic is. I've played, like, puzzly games... Which ones are the preferred? Oh, and I've played RPG. Have I played RPGs? I don't know if I've played RPGs on stream. I don't know if I've played RPGs on stream. But I do know it's like a lot of the games I play are platform games. Um, and I just want to get like a sort of census of what people's opinions. Because the reason there are I've, I've put my game Monday on hiatus is that is genuinely because there is no there is no platforming games left on my my game Monday list and I just feel like I couldn't do like the shooters that are on my 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 game the words escaped me I can't do the shooters that are on my my game Monday list it's it Cues and puzzles. Things you like are good. You talk about them. Things you are, that are hard are good because you stress it. It's funny. That's, I like, again, it's the same thing of Mike gave a clear answer and Kitten didn't. And it's always, it's always like that. It's like Mike would just like, I will answer the question. Question answered. Everything sorted. Kitten's like, I will kind of answer the question, but also kind of just avoid the question. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me laugh. <laughs> oh, I copped up. That's a long ass title that I put as well. Deep cake? Oh no, no cake for me, even though it's being my birthday. That's true, I won't get any cake. I won't get any cake. No one... No one loves Biscuit enough to get him cake. <laughs> that just came across like a lot sadder than I wanted it to. That was meant to be like jokey jokey fun times. It just came out really sad. window open it is that's why I'm feeling cold I'll have to shut that want cake <laughs> wants cake wants it now cuz I want it now all right Maruka Hated locked rooms. Her room was further from the fire than mine. Smoke could not have killed her. She never locked her door. And besides, 
Tune you another way out of the house. Out of the window. Someone incapacitated or killed Lizzie. Then locked her door. Then took the lamp downstairs and started the fire to cover up their crime. Their plan was to kill us all. you long enough to figure it out, Alice, you dumb bitch. Keep an eye out for a piggy. Where the fuck's this piggy then? Hey? Right. Where's this piggy? I feel like it'd be over here, innit? Because there's like a giant empty space, but I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Any news on the new Alice game? I don't know. Ask Kit. <laughs> Kitten. Because that's the. I don't keep up to date with it. Confront or be frightened. Reckless or insulting talk should never go out of chat inventory. No new news. Yeah, I don't keep up with it anymore, Mike, because I don't think it's ever actually going to happen. So. That's my response. Oh. Um. In fact, the new Vampire the Masquerade game, I kept hearing like loads and loads and loads about it, and then it's just gone dead silence with news. Not that I've ever actually finished the first Vampire the Masquerade game, or even started the first Vampire the Masquerade game. But the second one looks fun. But then all the news went dead silent, so... What the hell is going to happen? And that new LEGO Star Wars game came out today. Oh, pardon me. You know, this is the anniversary of my PC. I've had my PC for a year now. One whole year. Chunky. Yeah, right, big boy. My PC is the only male bit of equipment I've got. The rest are females, before you wonder. The PC is the big boy, the rest are females. Boom. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. Wait, I can't. Wait, if I remember it correctly, you guys are a half elf, a dwarf, and a human. What? What? So basically, the trifecta of basicness. <laughs> you know. Human and elf and a dwarf. Well, half elf. Alright, he got fancy with his one. He got fancy with his half elfiness. <laughs> I'm back up on the fuser.
I was watching this thing the other day that made a lot more sense, right? Where it's, 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 it's this parent who, when they give their child their dinner, right, or their, you know, yeah, their dinner, I think it was. They put everything on the plate, including what was meant to be for dessert, like cake or a cookie or whatever it is. Um, and a lot of parents were, like, giving them slack or hate for it. It's like, you just got to teach your child to only eat the dessert and not eat it, the rest of the meal. And then the parent was proving that, like, their child eats more of their meal, their, like, dinner dinner part, than they used to when cake was left for afters. Because, um... The child just to be like, I don't want to eat this, I want to get straight to the cake. But where the cake or the cookie is on the plate with the rest of the food, the child's just like, oh, all food is equal. And that makes a lot of sense to me. And then I look at my godson. Little man. He's amazing and brilliant and I love him. But boy, does that boy does not like treats. He, he, he loves fruit. He loves fruit and vegetables so much. He really, really does. Like... If, if you want to give him a treat, get him grapes. Get him grapes. Don't get him, like, cake or cookie or anything like that. He will probably have, like, a bite or two and then just throw it. You give him some grapes or, like, a, a box of blueberries, he will have happy little stompy feet and grab them and then most likely go hide somewhere with them so no one can take them. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Last time I bought him blueberries, right, I bought a container of blueberries. He looked up and went, blueberry. Got all excited, stomped his feet, grabbed the container from me, which, was the, you know, I was offering it to him. It's fine. And then he <laughs> huddled down, crouched down around the box of blueberries, like some sort of goblin with their treasure, and was just, like, <laughs> eating them. <laughs> But also constantly looking up at me to make sure I didn't take the blueberry, which I did. Well, I'm just like, this is adorable, awesome, and like, damn. And I think that's just because, again, you know, I, he's only a little still, but I, I think it's the way he's being raised is just like, all food is equal. And because he sees all food as equal, like, he doesn't see cake or biscuits as these special treats he can only have at certain times. So he he's not craving them. He's not sitting there going, oh, I can only ever have that when I'm good. Or I can only ever have that when, like, this has happened. So then when that's on offer, that's what I want. Instead, he just wants the things that taste good to him. Which, in all honesty, if you do think about it, fresh fruit tastes so much better than, like, chocolate. And biscuit. It really does. Fresh fruit tastes amazing compared to like some biscuits or some chocolate. Fire at me, you bastard. Or not. Oh, yeah, you will. Oh, you tricked me. Oh, here's another tip for you guys. Because I like giving you tips for the D&D game that we haven't even started yet. Here's a little tip. The land you are travelling to is an odd one. The land you are travelling to is not like the rest of the world. So, you may see monsters and creatures that you've heard myths and legends about and you may have read this book of monsters this, this this manual you may say a manual of monsters you may have read it and sure these creatures are in that manual of monsters but the land you are going to they are also different than the ones in the manual of monsters basically what I mean is I've twisted a lot of the creatures just ever so slightly I've put a little twist on them so don't don't walk into them and go oh, I know how to fight this because you probably don't because I've twisted it okay. so I've twisted it oh yeah kitten loves this bit Aww. I feel bad for him I feel bad for him when she crushes him because it's the way he just drops the ooh Oh my 
Also, the amount of enemies they spawn on this bit really shows how easy they're going on you for the rest of the game. <laughs> Look how many enemies they spawn, and we never face that level of enemies when we're normal at it. Like, so this game could fuck with us really bad if it doesn't. Oh, I hate the fucking towers. They wind me up. Fucking towers that shoot shit at you. You have to press X on the tentacles. Four tentacles. Can you? No, 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 because I can't defend against that. Yeah, I knew I was going to die because you can't block in this fort. And I had no health. What was I meant to do there? It'd be funny if you could string in this form. And just go like a medium sized Alice. You've got normal Alice, medium Alice, big Alice, and small Alice. That would have been cool. Move out the way slowly. Again, you can't really dodge them, can you, Gil? Speed that they move. Just keep moving. <laughs> I, I, I just kept moving and I got hit again. I love how this plays. It's so cool. I know you hate it, don't you, Kitten? Because it's all fleshy. You don't like all fleshy things. Pardon me. I like it though. Okay, can you can you move so I can get around? Thank you. Yeah, you just don't like the fleshy places. Did you struggle when I was playing the darkness? Because there were some fleshy bits in that. I, I get desensitized. Oh, you get distracted with words. Okay. For fuck's sake. Oh, why is there not a way to heal in this form? I'm gonna keep fucking dying because I've barely got any health. And it's dumb that she can't block. Give me that health, you pricks. This is where I start getting annoyed. I'm getting annoyed now and later on I'm going to be playing Tunic. I'm going to be struggling with that boss again. Two hours of doing the same boss over and over and over and over again. Yeah. 
Could have been, I know, I've been so close. I, the boss had like a half a hit left on it at one time. Half a hit left on it, and I fucking got killed. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. What the fuck's that? I am going to do some farming between the streams to try and like get a bunch more stuff from the shop from our friend mystery oh fuck off where the fuck's that tower that just hit me they're the worst our good friend mystery who I was never ever running away from they're a simple shopkeep. <laughs> oh, Fred and Mystery. I'll say this right. Mystery has made me think about some characters for the D&D world. Of like, they could look one way, but they could be another way. But you guys could react one way. And end up being bad. Oh, I feel like shit. I thought I'd be getting better with the days, and I'm not. I'm just feeling the same. See, it might seem to sit on. This might seem to be set on murder spree. Again, if Mike's set on a murder spree, the game will end very quickly. I was just, I was just letting you guys know. The world has actions and consequences. And if you go on a murder spree, the consequences for that will be very dire indeed. <laughs> How did Alice know to drink them? Oh no. She didn't ever drink me on her own thing. How did she know? Or she just used to drinking random liquids. You were once too big to contain yourself. So where does that leave you? Go away. There's no reason to proceed. Or I will. Yeah, and then the game will end. Or will I? Sorry, I read it wrong. Stefan was slowly yelling. I could see him from the Isis. And his name won't help. Bumby, if we ever qualify, his bedside manner will require improvement. We'll probably... I'll probably end it after we go down the tongue. Because we've only got ten minutes left and I don't really want to start a whole new area in ten minutes. Shortcuts for the biscuit. Done. Wonder how. <laughs> wonder how bad this tastes. Just like sliding down the tongue. This is Kitten's favourite part of the game. This one. This area. Kitten's favourite area of the game. We are going to end now, by the way. <laughs> I've only got 10 minutes, so. Let me go to my broken end screen and then I'll thank people. Broken end screen. Uh, yeah. Thank you to... Has it gone to my broken end screen? I'm not sure. It has, cool. Thank you to Mike, Kitten and Splinter for being here so much. And to anyone lurking or over on YouTube in two weeks' time. Hi, YouTube people. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I will be back at 2 o'clock with some tunic. Um, yeah. Just missing K's raid. I was about to raid K. What are you on about? What? K 
getting what you on about just missing K's raid? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Bye.